Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, I just wanted uh, to give you guys a quick update uh, before moving this to the warehouse in the shed. Um, I wanted to reclaim my box back for some work on documents and stuff. Um, and I wanted to move this in uh, to the warehouse there, but I just didn't have the heart to move it in without sorting the electronics out. And what I did is I just nipped in there and I took out the cell from on top of the roof and I've left it running at two cells and uh, the two cells in series for 8 volts is more than enough power to run the servos and uh, the servo with uh, leading to the fuel arm um, so I'm quite happy with that one uh, but when I did that I then realised that ah, oh, you know what Paul you really nooped when you started this project because what you did is you put the rear two axles going the wrong way so when the rear axles were trying to go forwards, the front wheel was going backwards. And when the front wheel was trying to go forwards, the two rear wheels were going backwards. So I just cursed myself like a noob. Yes, I make a lot of mistakes. And um, I took it out at the back from the two arms connecting um, the chassis to the back kind of backboard of the thing. And uh, I then spun over the wheels and then put them back in. And then on this rear one, I raised um, the suspension by putting the suspension top of the bracket down a bit on the um, receiving backbone collarbone of the, um, you know, the back bed. Um, so it's all held together now and it's slightly raised at the back. And you'll probably see that is raised at the back and it looks off, but I've done that so... When weight's on at the back and it's carrying cargo, you know, it balances out as best I can get it. Um, so, yeah, a, a quick update on that. So now everything's running nice. And you can see how smooth it's running. You know, you can hear. Does that not sound good? Not sound healthier? So, yeah, I'm really hoping that's a, a big improvement. And because I've noobed so much on the decal front, uh, first up... Big thanks to SabX. Uh, dude, I owe you such an apology because I need to get these uh, decals out of mine that I've been um, printing. It's just that the envelopes and stuff are on the way and there's been delays and stuff. Same to you, James, and a few other of you guys. And um, to celebrate the beginning of the decals, uh, SabX, I wanted to thank you by putting you on my big orange mammoth. So here's... Me putting Sabat X's uh, sticker on the orange 118 scale, and uh, then I'm gonna acrylic spray it on to seal it on there to stop the weathering mud and any heat coming off the exhaust. So let's see how cool this looks. <laughs> Okay guys, gonna spray this and make a runner for it so I don't breathe it in. And then I've left a little window open so it can, uh, you know, um, escape. Yeah. Here we go. And that, guys, is a nice spray on coating of acrylic. So, thanks for watching. This looks awesome. Thanks again, Sabah X. You are an awesome bloke. Catches up.